Kofi kind of showed up around this time last year. Yeah, right around this time. All of his new Valco and everything. And he was looking pretty solid. But he got like kind of inactive. Seemed a little more again. He has, I think, improved, you know, in terms of beating people after he switched from Yoshi to Valco. Yeah. I'd say so. This decision making with Falco is like, yeah, back last year, it stood out to me just because of how uh, deliberate it was. Using stuff like a smash up shield all the time, carefully placed down tilts, all that. But even then, we now have to be out of down game kicks out of it. And yeah. what is that? Alright. Which one's. Uh, Kofi is player on the right, so. Uh, is that Vanilla Falco? Yeah. He's the with the AZ? No. No, no. No, he's like, <laughs> yeah, he just doesn't work. Yeah. Anyway, beating stock, as we up that stock. So yeah, his, well, his move choice is great. Kofi's punish game has always been a little lackluster. Got him good place. Wow, gets him the really upper edge of that box. Yep. Yeah. Get it out there, stock. though. Now he's up a full stock to see. Oh, shines out of it. As well shines out of it. Yes, just off what I saw about the last game, the bad girl's problem is simply all Yeah, you don't see that with Falco much. You gotta catch him. But uh, one of the problems with Azrael I noticed last game was uh, he was shining, Kofi's missed tech a lot, you know, when his shine was already stale. 
Or you could just be racking you well timed air, pop back up, just pack back air. Any of that can work better. But anyway, why does stock lead to two now? <laughs> so it's just been a charge that smash would have worked out. Yep. Okay. Up hill. Yeah, that was a good reaction. Didn't want to get the turn around there, I think. I wonder if he meant to do that. Is that the set?